A short list of pairing friendly curves resistant to the special tower number field save at the 128-bit security level. In cryptography, pairings are, as a black box, need three cyclic groups of large prime order R. So it's a bilinear map from G1 times G2 into GT. It is bilinear on the left and on the right like a scalar product. It is non-degenerate and it, is, it should be efficiently computable. In practice, we use the fact that the pairing of A times P and B times Q is equal to the pairing of B times P and A times Q, so we can swap the scalars. And it also equals to the product um, to the pairing of P and Q to the power AB, so we can multiply the scalars in the exponent thanks to a pairing. As application, we have the identity-based uh, encryption of Bonnet-Franklin, and we have also the short signature of uh, Bonnet-Lin and Chacha. More recently, we have uh, zero knowledge proof and uh, zero knowledge a uh, succinct uh, uh, non interactive argument. The security of the pairing arise on the discrete logarithm problem, the diffie Hellman problem, the bilinear uh, counterparts, and the hardness of the pairing inversion. More precisely, a pairing is a veil or a tate pairing on an elliptic curve. The um, two in input groups C1 and C2 are on elliptic curve, and the target group is a finite field. That's why we use uh, additive notation for G1 and G2 and multiplicative notation for GT. So we need um, to consider these attacks. We need a hard um, uh, inversion. We need the discrete logarithm uh, on the curve to be hard, so it has an exponential complexity of approximately square root of R. And we also need the discrete logarithm in the finite field to be hard. But it, this is easier, it has a sub-exponential complexity, so we need to be sure that we take a large enough field. The pairing friendly curve. So we need to um, design them on purpose. An elliptic curve uh, over a prime field uh, has a short bias torus form of y square equals x3 plus ax plus b. It has order p plus 1 minus t where t is the torus. And we needed to have a large prime factor r. The discriminant of the curve is such that t square minus 4p is equal to minus d times y square, and d is a square free. So um, to be able to de de define a pairing on the curve, we need the embedding degree to be small enough. So when r divide p minus p to the n minus 1 on n is minimal, then we say that n is the embedding degree. Then we can define, for example, the tape pairing. But uh, usually n is very large of the size of r, so a curve is not very friendly. So we need to build it on purpose, and in this case, uh, we have, for example, a super singular curve, Miyagi Nakabayashi Takano curve of embedding degree 3, 4, and 6, Bariton Eric, uh, Bartolin and Scott curve of embedding degree 12, Kasisha Schaeffer and Scott curve of embedding degree 16 and 18, and other BLS curve. For example, for MNT curve of embedding degree 6, we have the parameters of the curve P and R given by quadratic polynomials. And the discriminant is variable. For B and curve, they are very popular because it is very easy to generate them. So for example, for embedding degree 12 and discriminant 3, we have that the curve has a short bias towards y square equals x3 plus b, that is a equals 0, and the g invariant of the curve is 0. And the two parameters P and R are given by a, a polynomial of degree 4 and very small coefficients. So this is very good for efficient arithmetic on the curve, but as we will see later, this is also interesting for a better variant of the number field safe to compute discrete logarithm in the finite field fp to the 12. So what do we need for our peripheral curve? We need secure, efficient, and compact curve. So we need secure, again, this discrete logarithm computation on the curve and in the finite field. We need an efficient scalar multiplication on the curve, um, fast exponentiation in the finite field, and efficient pairing. And as well, we need uh, compact. That is, we want to have as small as possible parameters and key size. So which curve are the best options? So for this, we need to uh, consider uh, the hardness of this discrete logarithm computation in the finite field. But this is much less investigating than a prime thing or integer factorization. However, there are much better results in pairing related fields. So for example, in 2013, Roux and Piero designed a special variant of the number field sieve to compute discrete logarithm in FPN, where FPN is the target root of a pairing friendly curve. In 2015, Barbulescu, Godric, and Klein Young designed the tower number field sieve, that is, an, a variant uh, that makes use of the tower structure of the field for, for FPN. 
In 2016, Kim and Barbulescu um, designed a new version where they use the subfields of uh, the finite field. So they explore the fact that uh, there are many possible subfields to make the number field C faster. It was uh, improved later by Kim and Jiang. So this leads to this complexity. So the number field C and all of its variants have a uh, sub-exponential complexity uh, with the formula given above, like the, it's the exponential of a constant C times uh, log of P to the N to the power alpha, log of log of P to the N to the power one minus alpha. For large characteristic P, that is a prime field, for example, or a very small uh, exponent and very, very large P, then we have that the complexity uh, if with uh, alpha equals one third and the, com the constant C is approximately 1.9. Uh, if the characteristic P is special, then we have that the constant is approximately 1.5, so much less. For medium characteristic, then um, we have um, P, which is quite medium compared to the exponent, so this is the case for a periphery curve for uh, FP12 or FP24, for example. Then the constant C is 2.2 for prime N, so for example, uh, 11, 13, or 17. And this is 1.7, that is slower than the prime field for composite n, and this is TNFS. For a special prime p and um, uh, a composite n, then this is the best case of a uh, special tower number filsive, and the complexity is with the constant 1.5. So this is much less than 1.9, and it means that we need to increase the key size of pairing friendly curve design before the tower number filsive algorithm. How to um, choose the key size? So for a prime field, we know. So we have a rule to for for doing it. So for example, we take the asymptotic complexity with the constant 1.9, and we will rescale this uh, asymptotic formula with a record computation. So we have a record computation. Um, so we rescale uh, the asymptotic complexity, and we obtain that we for approximately 3,000 uh, bits. Then we have. Um, a cost of computing a discrete logarithm more than 2 to the 128, so we are fine. But how to do it for extension and finite fields? So we need to consider the latest variant of the Tower number filsive algorithm that is very promising for FPN, where n is when n is composite. Uh, we need a record computation to scale the formula, and then um, we need to be sure that uh, it fits. But how? But in fact. It's not so easy because the asymptotic complexity corresponds to a ratio between the exponent n and the prime characteristic p um, when both tends to infinity. But it does not correspond to a fixed n, for example, 12. And moreover, we don't have a record computation for now. So these are the latest record computation in a um, finite field of uh, large and medium characteristic. So for prime field, we do have a um, large record, but for extension fields, uh, as long as the ex extension degree grows, then the total size of the finite field decreases. Moreover, we don't have any implementation yet of the tower number field sieve, only the number field sieve. Since the introduction of the TNFS algorithm in 2015, um, new key size and new pairing friendly curve were proposed. So, for example, by Fotiadis and Constantino, so they based their key size on the asymptotic complexity. By Menezes, Sarkar, and Singh, so they uh, um, started to open the black box of the STNFS algorithm and look uh, more deeper than just the um, asymptotic complexity to try to refine the key size. Then Babulescu and Duquesne proposed a model of cost and refined the key size and also proposed seeds. Fotidis and Martindale also proposed new curves based on the barboulescu duquen model of cost of discrete logarithm computation. Then, uh, um, with uh, Thing and with Masson and Tomé, we proposed a refined uh, model of cost. Uh, so the idea is that uh, we can't yet run a record computation, but we have tec uh, techniques to estimate the parameters like we do for record computation in prime field. We simulate part of the algorithm to try to refine the parameters and to tweak it m more finally, 
and to obtain a good estimation of the total cost. So we do the same approach for TNFS. So this is much less precise, but this is a good first approach. And then it allows to have a um, more precise key size. In 2019, Barbulescu, El Mohabe and Gamam uh, consider many, many uh, different planning curves of embedding degree between 2 and uh, 54. And they use the Barbulescu and Duquesne uh, model of cost. In this work, we apply systematically the new model of cost uh, of the work we think uh, to all the curve uh, con already considered by Barbulescu, El Mohabe and Gamma. Before um, going into details of the simulation, uh, I would like just to recall the bracing wing generic construction of pairing funny curve. So we start by choosing a polynomial R that is irreducible and that will contain a primitive nth root of unity. So for example, we just take a cyclotomic polynomial. We define the number field by R and we find in, in, the, in this number field an element that corresponds to a um, nth root of unity. Then with an integer e between 1 and n minus 1 and co prime to n, we define the, the polynomial that will give the trace of the curve to be a to the e plus 1 modulo r. Then we have the parameter y, which is t minus 2 divided by square root of minus t modulo r. And uh, the polynomial p that will define the characteristic of the curve is equal to t square plus t times y square divided by 4. At this step, if p is not irreducible, then it will fail. And we need also p to be um, with a positive leading coefficient so that it has a good chance to represent prime's value. If it doesn't match, then uh, we start with another uh, exponent e or we start with another irreducible polynomial r at the beginning. Otherwise, then p, r, t, y, and d give a set of good parameters for a pairing friendly curve. Then to select the curve, uh, we consider the browsing way method with embedding degree between 6 and 21, and discriminant d between 1 and n, and uh, such that uh, square root of minus t exists in the number field. We also consider the baritonic uh, BLS fontidis constantino fontidis martindale curve. For the security, we designed r to be uh, at least 256 bits, and we decided that the finite field p to the n will be between uh, 3000 bits, for this is the minimum size for prime field, and uh, 5,376 bits, which is 12, 12 times the size for BN curve. And then in this work, we also consider all the possible variants of the special tower number field sieve. That is, for um, polynomial p that will give uh, the character cost of the curve, we try many different change of variables to tweak the special variant differently so that maybe we can reduce the total cost with a uh, change of variables. So if the polynomial is even, we can divide its degree by 2 without uh, increasing the size of the coefficients. If it's a palindrome, we can also do uh, another change of variable. Uh, more generally, if there is uh, an automorphism on the number field, then we can do something. And otherwise, uh, we can also decrease the degree of the polynomial while, while increasing slowly the size of the coefficients. So we com combine everything um, for some of the pairing friendly curve, actually, it was uh, interesting. It does not apply to BN and BLS curve, but it, it applied to many other browsing wing curves. The second step was to um, test all possible uh, variants of the tower. So we test all subfields uh, of FPN. So for example, if we have n equals to 12, then we will test FP, FP square, FP3, FP4, FP6, and FP12 have subfields. So in this work, we wrote um, a script to do uh, all of these variants. We obtained these results. So um, we have the following curves of uh, embedding degree between 10 and 16. So for example, for R, we have R of 256 bits at least, and when it was not possible to find an R of this size, then we give the um, uh, sm smallest possible one, which is uh, larger than this size. So it was not possible for embedding degree 11 and 13 because the polynomial that gives the characteristic is of degree 26 and 28. Uh, so the seed is very small, there are very few choices, and it was not possible to find exactly the size. For other curves, for, for example, um, for embedding degree uh, 13, we have the smallest possible size of P. 
but for 16 it's also uh, small enough. And for BN and BLS and Fotiadis Martin and Curve, we find that uh, 450 and 46 bits is enough to obtain um, 228 bits of security with some uh, margin. We also consider the cost of a pairing computation. So a pairing is made of a Miller loop and a final exponentiation. The Miller loop has um, sized the length of uh, the seed or the trace or, or the prime R. It depends on the variant of the pairing. So uh, Tate 8 or optimal 8. So the uh, above uh, table is from the work with uh, Masson and Tomé. And this is uh, an estimation of the number of multiplication in the prime field FP to compute uh, the Miller loop. So as we can see for prime embedding degree, on one side we have a smaller prime P because the extended to our number field sieve uh, with a variable subfield does not apply since we have a prime embedding degree. But we don't have many optimization for pairings like we don't have twist, we don't have subfield elimination. And so at the end we have a very costly pairing. For even embedding degree 10 and 14, we don't have a uh, twist of degree 4 and 6, but only quadratic twist. So the cost of the pairing is um, slower than for B and curve, for example. And moreover, we don't win very much on the size of the prime P. Um, we can also look at a popular uh, pairing friendly curve. So we have MNT curve uh, 4 and 6. So these uh, results are uh, from an ongoing project. And uh, BN, BLS, and Fotiadis, Martin, and Curve. So actually, we find that between uh, 416 and 448 bits, so we match some uh, machine word size, we have uh, 128 bits of security with error margin. And uh, for uh, embedding degree 16, 18, and 24, actually, we are more constrained by the size of R. So with this size of P, then we are safe. Finally, I wanted to share with you this repository. So in this uh, gitlab.inria.fr um, repository, you will find all the scripts that were used f to generate the result of this paper. So maybe you will be more interested in this Sage repository and then um, example curve shortlist.sage. So in this file, this is a Sage script. So it is uh, with uh, Python-like uh, syntax. You will find the curve, the seeds, the parameters, and everything of the curve of the shortlist. So this might be useful for copy-paste. Um, the curve um, are um, so designed with a class, for example, BLS12 class. So let's see what is this. So in this TNFS, it's organized as a Python package. So in uh, curve, you will find BLS12.py, PY. Um, so you have uh, some birth. You have the um, polynomial parameters of uh, BLS curve uh, coefficient uh, parameter uh, like uh, array of coefficients, and the class inherits from the elliptic curve finite field class of SageMath. So this is very uh, easy for uh, scripts. Then we go back to TNFS and we go to uh, parameters. And in test vectors parse .py, then uh, you have many seeds uh, for BN curve, uh, all of these seeds from, uh, and then here you have the reference with different size, so from a very small size to a larger size with the estimated se security level. Uh, BLS12 curve um, and uh, Kashisa, Shepard Scott of a mini growing system and 18 and BLS24. When it was not possible to find in the literature uh, the size to estimate the security, then we just generated the seed. So I hope that you will find uh, useful uh, scripts in this repository. Finally, uh, if you need uh, other seed to suit your need, um, you can uh, generate your own curve because uh, there are many possibilities in one family uh, with many different seeds and sparse seeds uh, to fit your needs. Thank you.